To build your website with GoDaddy, you can go to GoDaddy.com and then click on Websites, or you can use our link down below if you'd like to support our channel. Once you come to this page, you can click on Start for free. First, what are your main goals? To sell goods and services, let customers book appointments, start with a basic website, share info about my business, or promote myself. Why don't I create a website today for my personal brand? And so here I'll click on Promote Myself and then continue. What kind of personal website do you want? I'm creating a personal website. Continue. What do we want to call it? Let's say JJ. Continue. How should people who visit your site contact you? Honestly, I don't want them contacting me directly by phone or email, so I'm going to click on Clear All and Continue. What sections would you like in your website? I would like an About section. Photo Gallery, I don't think I need. Contact Us, let's not include that for now. Social Links, yeah, we can have that. And I think that's it, so let's click on Continue to my website. If you want, you can take a tour. I'm just going to close this. Go to Eddie already chose a theme and added a handful of sections to your homepage. If you want to change the theme, you can click on theme in the top right hand corner and then click on try a new look. You can see they have a bunch of different theme options here. I'm just going to go with the modern theme and then I'll go back to website so we can start making some edits. This video is sponsored by porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today. It's also our favorite as you'll see in this video here. Porkbun offers hundreds of domain extensions at low prices so you can get the perfect domain for your website at a great price. Get an additional dollar off by using the link in the description below or the code thefitco24 at checkout. The first thing I'm gonna click on is my name in the header and you're gonna see here, use this text as my logo or you can upload or create a logo. Why don't we see what the options are? So you can create a free logo. I already created one earlier using Canva and so I'm just going to upload it. Here is the logo with my name. There we go, insert. And there we go. And then is there anything else we wanna do with the logo, change the image or edit, or we can change the size of it. Let's go back to something like there. Okay, and then would you like a background? So white background, black background, no background. And then one of the other options is the alignment. Right now we have it center aligned with what we have right now. You can't really see it with this image, Let's see what other options we have for changing that. I'm gonna click on done. And then what do we have here? So we have theme, accent colors, the alignment. So again, center aligned, left aligned. So this is this section here. Besides adding a background of the logo, you can also add a navigation background and see if that looks any better. Honestly, no, I don't think I like that as much. Let's go back to the logo and give it a white background. That'll work for now. Click on done. Now let's go through and make edits to the homepage. The first thing I want to do is update this image. So down below, you'll see change image. Let's add an image. This is the image I want for the top of the homepage. Here we go. And then let's start working on the text. So you have different options here that I changed earlier. You could right align, middle align, or left align. I think I like the left align. Let's also have my name here, and then let's change this subtext. I don't know if I want this button here. Let's get rid of it. So we have action button right here. Start now, turn off. Okay, so this just says my name, grow your business with YouTube. And then down below we have an about section. What I was thinking for this section is I wanted to share each of my YouTube channels. So I want these to be videos and not images, and I found that when I was testing this earlier, let's actually delete this section, delete. Then to add an additional section, click on the plus button and you'll see it says add section. Here, I wanna go to audio and video and click on video. Before I add another section, you can see all the different options you have. Recommended, take payments, popular, premium, audio and video, blog and newsletter, commerce, contact, files and web, general, image gallery, real estate, restaurant, scheduling, social links. But this is the one that I want to add, which is basically the same section, but with videos instead of photos. And then here I want to say my YouTube channels. And then let's start replacing the videos. Click on this video, swap out the link, 
There's that. This is the Figco. Query your business online with Figco. And then let's make this a link to the channel so we can highlight this text, click on link, and then click change it to website URL, paste the URL, okay. So we have a video from the channel. All right, YouTube channel two, let's click here. Swap out the video. This is called greater than enough. Grow your income, spend wisely, invest for the future with greater than enough. We'll link to the YouTube channel here. Okay. And then this is called beginning of a business. Get your business off the ground with beginning of a business. We'll link to the channel and then we want to swap out the video. All right. So that section, I think we're good. So there's a social account section. One thing I think we can just add the social accounts to the footer where you normally find it. Also this made by GoDaddy, let's get rid of it. Let's click on the footer and then I think we'll see if we scroll down social accounts. Doesn't look like we can add them yet. Let's see if we scroll up, show social links, let's turn that on and then let's add Facebook. So the Figco, I'll just add our business one. I don't have a personal one. All right, so we've got all those filled out and then we're gonna click on done. And being that we have them here, I don't, and this will show up on any page of the website. I do not think we need this section, so let's delete it. Now what I'm gonna do is have a really quick summary of one of the courses that we sell. I'm gonna add a section for that. And what type of section would work for that? Let's click on general and content. Let's make this just really simple. I think this little section right here would work. In 48 hours, you'll choose your niche, choose a channel name, call up with dozens of video ideas, create your channel, learn to record yourself with your phone, and plan the launch of your channel. All right, let's change this from contact me to launch my channel. And then not a page, but a URL, which will be the sales page for the course. We'll paste that, done. Okay, we have a little pitch for one of our courses. What else do we wanna add? Let's add a blog section blog and newsletter, blog, and let's go with this carousel, which lists a bunch of the different articles. I blog, you don't have any blog posts yet. Let's create some content, start writing. All right, create a post. Why your business needs a YouTube channel. So a couple of bullet points on why your business should have a YouTube channel. We have a video about the topic as well. As you can see, if you just click on this plus, you have three options. So image, video, or divider. Let's add a video and the URL done. There we go. That is a good first blog post and click on publish. Okay. You'll need to publish your site first. Sure. We can publish that now. You can find this here or if we're actually on the website editing it, there's also a button at the top. Let me show you that. So right here, publish. Now let's just go back. Okay. So we've got that. We've got the blog post. I'm just gonna leave this image for now. Another thing I would like to add are appointments. So someone could book a call with me to work on their YouTube channel. So let's click on appointments. Work with me to grow your channel and business. Online appointments, start getting bookings online by adding services. Let's add a service. Okay, so we have three different options. Appointments, online consultation, one-on-one -on -one training, one-time event like a webinar or overnight retreat, repeat events, weekly yoga classes, online training. We're gonna go with an appointment. This will be a one-on-one -on -one YouTube coaching call. It'll be an hour. I don't think we need a category because we're not gonna have a bunch of different products. Grow your audience and your business with my one-on-one -on -one help. You'll also receive a recording of the call. Okay, show on your website. Yes, pricing, say $150, Ooh, not 1150 That would be nice. $150, accept payments offline, require full payment, service location, online or virtual. I wouldn't be the one doing it. You can create a Zoom meeting by connecting your Zoom here. I'm just gonna enter my own link for now so I don't have to connect my Zoom account. Notes, yeah, if you need a meeting ID, pin or anything, you can add that here. Scheduling options, require customers to book in advance. Yes, uh, it should be one hour and one day. Allow customers to reschedule online, sure, and save. All right, so I think that is done. Let's go back here. And what if we refresh this page? All right, there we go. Work with me and grow your channel and business. One-on-one -on -one YouTube coaching call, one hour, $150 book. That I think will work for me. And then maybe we want another section where somebody could subscribe to my newsletter. So let's say newsletter, subscribe. All right, weekly YouTube and business tips. Sign up to learn to grow your business with YouTube. Email, sign up, 
Now let's take a look at some of the other formatting options. We looked at the different theme options. You can go through and change those at any point that you like. You can also go in and change the color. So you can select matching colors, choose a color that matches your logo or imagery. You can update those, select custom colors. So we can make some changes here and you can see that the button was adjusted there. Hey, you want something that's like there. And then paint your site, control the color mode from light to dark. So light and dark. That looks good to me. Now let's take a look at fonts. I'm not an expert with fonts, but luckily they'll help you a little bit here. So you can choose a primary and secondary font. You can do that on your own, or they give you font combinations down below. Maybe we'll go with League Spartan and Helvetica. You can click on and change these and find one that looks good to you. Maybe that one, the Cabin and Lato. Let's stick with that for now. And then beyond the theme, let's quickly go through all the different settings. The first thing you see in settings is connect domain. You can't connect the custom domain with the free plan. With the free plan, you get a free subdomain. You can see it right here, jjthalen.godaddysites.com. One other quick thing with the free website builder, before we go forward, if you go to website and try to add an additional page, it's not going to let you. So you can see here, we need to upgrade to have additional pages like contact and about page, a gallery, anything else we want to add as a separate page, we're going to need to upgrade. But back to what we were talking about a second ago, connecting a domain. Why don't we just do that now? So the first thing we'll have to do is select the plan. There are three different plans. You can see the differences right here, basic, premium, and commerce. For the annual version, 10 bucks a month, 15 bucks a month, $21 a month, you can see 41 to 50% off depending on which one you're choosing. If you pay monthly, you can see the pricing change. So basic $16.99, premium $29.99, and commerce $34.99. I'm just gonna go with the basic option, so I'll add that to the cart. All right, so you have websites plus basic marketing plan. Let's continue. Now that we upgraded a paid GoDaddy plan, let me show you how to publish the website to a custom domain. Within settings, you can click on either of these two buttons to publish the page or to manage the URL. With either one, you get this pop-up that asks choose where to publish on a domain I already own, get a new domain, or your free GoDaddy URL. Let me first show you what it looks like to get a domain from GoDaddy. Wow, so you get a domain for a penny for the first year with a three-year registration. Let's add this to the cart, and then I'm not gonna get any of the upsells. 8887, this just doesn't seem right to me. I don't think the domains, even with GoDaddy, are this expensive. Let's just actually go to their main website, godaddy.com, and look for a domain here. Okay, exact match, jjthalen3.com. A penny, first year only with three year term. You can see the $21.99 crossed out. If we click on the question mark, you're gonna see the standard price for GoDaddy is $21.99 per year. So that's what it's gonna renew at. And if we click on make it yours, let's see what the total is. No thanks to the upsells. Looks good, keep going. Free privacy protection, that looks good. Full domain protection. You can turn on two-factor authentication for another $12 per year. Not sure why that would actually cost money. Let's turn it off. Continue to cart. Okay, so a .com domain for three years of GoDaddy will be $43.99. If we just take that number $43.99 and then divide that by three, you get $14.66. That's for three years. If we just go back to one year, they'll give us a discount of $12.99. But you can see again, all of the renewals for each additional year with GoDaddy, you'll be paying $21.99 for a .com domain. If you purchase your domain from porkbun.com, a .com domain only costs $10.37 per year, and you'll get an additional dollar off by using the link below or by adding the code the figo 24 at checkout. Your purchase with Porkbun also includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, an amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. Let's close out of this, click on publish again, and on a domain that I already own with Porkbot. jjthalen.com, continue. All right, so you need to add these two records to the DNS wherever you purchase your domain. The first is an A record, name, at, and then put in this value and 3600. For this, you can either leave it blank or use the at symbol, depending on where you purchase your domain. The answer is what we want to put here. And then they had 3,600 here and at. The second record is CNAME, www, and then jjthalen.com. CNAME, www, jjthalen.com, add. And then if you scroll down further with Forkbun, you can see the two records were added successfully. 
And then once you've added them, come back to GoDaddy and click on I'm done, continue setup. Save and publish. Congratulations, your site is now live. And at jjthalen.com, we have our website. Now let's go through the rest of the settings. Basic information, you have the site name, you can add your email address and phone number, that'll show up at certain places on your website if you want that information to be public. Then social media links, you saw me add those earlier. Those are all listed right here if you ever wanna change them. Favicon, so this is the icon at the top of the browser tab. You can leave it blank and I imagine the GoDaddy one would appear if you built your website with GoDaddy or you can add a custom one by clicking on upload. JJ Favicon there. This icon will show up at the top of the browser tab. Done. They have some tools for optimizing for SEO. The headline, maybe you wanna say JJ Thalen, YouTube expert, and then add a bit of a description. All right, there's that, done. We have site history. Then here you have analytics and tracking, cookie banner. You can turn this on to have a cookie banner like this show up, letting people know that you're using cookies. Scrolling down further, you can also have a decline as well as an accept button. And that's that page. And then down below that, you have Google Analytics, Metapixel, Facebook Meta Tag, and Pinterest Tag. This is where you would add all of your tracking. One other thing I couldn't do earlier before upgrading to a paid plan is add additional pages to my GoDaddy website. To do that now that we upgraded, you can click on website. And then here we have site navigation. Click on plus to add a page. Before with the free plan in the navigation, you can add an additional link. So you could say my YouTube channel and add a link here. And then you can see that'll show up right here. You can do that with a free version of GoDaddy, but you're not actually able to add additional pages until you upgrade. Now, if we go to new page, there's a couple of options. We can add a blank page. They have about page templates, gallery, contact, list. Let's just add a contact page, create page. All right, so what do you want the page to be titled? Contact, you can see now there's a contact button here. Drop us a line. You can customize this like any of the other pages. Send me a message if you'd like one-on-one -on -one YouTube coaching. And then here again, you can you can have hours, other stuff here. These are things that are not gonna show. If you're done making changes to the additional page, click on done. Whenever you're done updating your website, don't forget to click on publish to send any of the new changes you made to your live website. Don't forget to use porkbun.com if you need to buy a domain or if you wanna save money on a domain you already own. You can transfer your domain to Porkbun, saving you money on the annual renewals. Get a dollar off new domains and transfers by using the code thefigo 24 at checkout. If you now want to see how GoDaddy's website builder compares to our favorite website builders in 2024, watch this video right here, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.